एवरीवन सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट लॉ ऑफ टोटल प्रोबेबिलिटी ओके सो फर्स्ट आई विल एक्सप्लेन यू द कंसेप्ट एंड देन वी विल जंप टुवर्ड्स द एग्जांपल्स सो सी द कंसेप्ट इज वेरी सिंपल सो यू हैव अ सैंपल स्पेस एस फॉर सम रैंडम एक्सपेरिमेंट ओके एंड यू वांट टू फाइंड द प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑफ सम इवेंट ए व्हाट यू डू इज यू ट्राई टू सेपरेट योर सैंपल स्पेस इनटू से डिसजॉइंट यूनियन of some sets let me call this as b1 from here so this is my b2 this is my b3 this is b4 and this is my b5 so what is my s my s is nothing but b1 union b2 union b3 union b4 union b5 and that disjoint that means the intersection is empty they are mutually exclusive and since it completes the whole sample space so this bis are called as mutually exhaustive events okay because their union is the complete sample space and they are mutually disjoint so now if i take intersection on both side so a intersection with s with a intersection this bis what is a intersection s a is a subset of s so this is nothing but a and what is this this in, by distributive property this will go inside so a intersection b1 Union A intersection B two, Union A intersection B five, right? So this is what we have. Now, if I take probability on both side, this is probability of the complete thing. Now, if you recall my lecture on the definition of probability, you can find the link in the description. There we saw that if you have the sets which are disjoint, then probability of union is nothing but the probability of summation so probability of a intersection b1 plus probability of a intersection b2 plus probability of a intersection b5 right so probability of unions is nothing but the sum of the probabilities individual probabilities so this is what the law of total probability says if you want to find the probability of an event you write your sample space as a disjoint union of subsets or events and then you in and in that case probability of an event is nothing but the sum of the probabilities of that event with intersection with other events this is what the law of total probability says now once you have this thing if you know the probability of intersection bi is well and good if you don't know then then in that case we use the formula for conditional probability okay so what is this now if you know what is probability of a given b1 it is probability of a intersection b1 upon probability of b1 right so this will give me that probability of a is nothing but what is this probability of a intersection b1 which is nothing but probability of b1 into probability of a given b1 similarly plus probability of b2 into probability of a given b2 so if i use every there summation of i i is going from 1 to n suppose you are dividing into n disjoint subsets so this is what your law of total probability says this is in terms of intersection this is in the language of conditional probability okay so yeah so that is what the theorem says now let me take some example uh, which will help you to understand this concept so here is the first example so suppose sora after get doing her say btech degree uh he gets a job in some company whatever say it company or say whatever google facebook or you know manufacturing company okay he gets a job over there and in a meeting suppose the boss says that we are going to launch this new product or whatever new project or new app in coming weeks okay and uh, obviously now people are waiting for that product to launch so once that product will be launched by the company definitely it will affect the stock prices of the company if the people are happy they get the positive response the price of the stock price will increase if the people are not happy then it may increase little bit or it may decrease okay so something may happen suppose the boss says to saurabh that okay saurabh you have to tell me what what is the probability that the stock price of our stock will increase okay so what saurabh will do okay we go we will collect some data so suppose there are there 70% chances that the product will be launched okay or a new app suppose is in facebook or insta or whatever 
some app will be launched okay or whatever or some new feature will be launched okay so there are 70% chances that the product will be launched now if launched there are 80% chances that the stock price will increase because yeah, the company is very optimistic so they feel like this will really make a difference and people will be happy and the price will shoot and if the, if the product doesn't get launched then there are 20% chance that the stock price will increase it may also happen that it will decrease but that case I will tell you once this problem is over so I will give you the hint so you can tackle that problem as well ok so this is what we have the scenario ok now whenever you have a problem like this we always use the tree diagram ok so it's always preferred to use the tree diagram so let us draw the tree diagram so now here this is the diagram that I have drawn now the probability so obviously when the product will either be launched or it will not be launched if it 70% are the chances that it will be launched so therefore 30% are the chances that it will not get launched if it get launched stock prices will increase by 80% so here if launched then stock price will decrease by 20% if not launched then stock price will increase by 20 and it will decrease by how much then 80% Okay, so this is what the scenario we have. We want to find the probability of the event A. What is my event A? A is the event that what is the probability? So what is the question? The probability that the stock price will increase. So let A be the event that the stock price will increase. So this is what I want to find, right? So what I will do is I will divide my sample space into two parts. Okay, so if this is my sample space over here, I will divide into two parts, whether the project will be launched or it will not be launched and this is my event A over here in between. So what is probability of A? By total law theorem it is summation of it is A intersection L and A intersection L complement. But what is probability of A intersection L? By Again by uh, conditional probability what is probability of A intersection L? Probability of L into probability of A given L plus probability of L complement into probability of A given L complement. Now what is probability that the product will be launched? 0.7, 70% means 0.7. What is the probability that the stock price will increase given that the project product is launched? So given that the product is launched, what is the probability that the stock price will increase? It is 0.8. What is probability of not launching? It is 0.3, 30%. And what is the probability that the stock price will increase given that the product will not get launched? It is 20%, 0.2. So you just solve this and you get the answer. Okay, so this is how we are going to solve. Now suppose if I see that earlier case, the third case was what? If the product will not get launched, then the stock price will increase by 20%. Suppose if I say that if the project will not get lost and the investors will be not happy, in that case the stock price will decrease by say say 40%. So in that case here it is 40%, so here you get 60%. And then again you can solve the problem. Okay, so yeah, so that's how one can play with these problems. So I hope the idea is clear. Now let's go for the next problem. Okay, so we're done with the Saurabh now. So again like as I told in my last lecture, I am just using the name of the students or my viewers who are commenting in the comment section. Otherwise, earlier everywhere I used to use my name. But uh, yeah, I got this nice trick. Okay, so let's go for the second problem. Okay, uh, suppose Shokat. Okay, suppose he, is a, he got a job after his degree and now he is a leading a team. Now he is a leading a three teams. Okay, team one team 2 and team 3 so these are three teams he's having okay now in team 1 there are suppose 20 gents and say 30 ladies in team 2 there are suppose 35 gents and 15 ladies and in team 3 whatever suppose there are 11 gents and 39 ladies he's having this thing now he want to choose a person to do some particular kind of job now he knows that for that whatever the product they have de developed all these three teams have worked properly and everyone has the proper knowledge so now question is what is the probability that if you select a person he is a man 
okay so men and women so what is the probability so let m be the event that the selected person is a man okay so let m be the event that the selected person is a man if you feel my speed is very slow you can go to the playback settings and you can increase the speed okay so this is what i have now i want to find probability of this m now what shokat will do now he will just recall me because he has seen this lecture so now he wants to find this probability of m so now i have three teams t1 t2 t3 that's all so they exhaust everything so what is this it is probability of a m intersection with t1 plus probability of m intersection with t2 plus probability of m intersection with t3 right what is probability of m intersection with t1 it is probability of m given t1 into probability of t1 plus probability of m given t2 into probability of t2 plus probability of m given t3 into probability of t3 what is probability of selecting a man given that he is from t1 it is 20 by 50 into there are three teams what is the probability of selecting each team 1 by 3 plus what is the probability of choosing m given that he is from team 2 35 by 50 into 1 by 3 what is the probability of choosing a man from team 3 11 upon 50 into 1 by 3 whatever answer he get that is the probability that if he selects probability that the selected person is a man similarly one can do for women okay so yeah this is one more application i mean this is one more problem where we are going to use law of total probability now let's go for the final example okay so this is related to rain so suppose uh, suppose ishan ishan got a job and suppose he gets a job at uh, in he got at cherapunji okay i don't pray that but suppose you get a job at cherapunji i mean as per my knowledge as if now i i think cherapunji is the city which receives the highest rainfall in india if it has changed then you can enlighten me in the comment section but okay it still receives in a good amount of rainfall and uh, he is supposed to join that company on coming monday okay now the probability of going to cherapunji on monday if it rains is 0.22 obviously if it rains he will be like ah, who will go and without rain it is 0.96 and as per the weather department the probability that it will going to rain on monday is 0.16 question is find the probability that ishan will go to cherapunji on monday okay so let e be the event that ishan will go to the will go to cherapunji on monday now question is what is probability of e there is the question right so obviously what will be the two subsets that going to divide our sample space it will rain or it will not be raining right So either it will rain or it will not rain. What is the event? Whether he will go to the Cherapunji or not. So it is probability of A intersection R1 plus probability of A intersection R prime. So probability of R into probability of E given R plus probability of R complement into probability of E given R complement. What is probability that is going to rain? As per IMD or as per the weather department, it is 0.16. what is the probability that ishan will will be going to cherapunji on monday if it rains the probability that he, the probability that will be going to cherapunji if it rains is 0.22 what is probability that is not going to rain complement of this which is 0.84 what is the probability that ishan will go to cherapunji on monday provided it doesn't rain it is 0.96 that's all as simple as that well yeah this probability problems are like this only if someone tells you you feel it very easy but when you see the exercise problem you get scared okay so just a suggestion at the end of the lecture try to solve the maximum exercise problem see the lectures see the solved examples and give a try in solving the exercise problems so yeah that's all for today i hope if you have any doubt i mean if you have any doubt you can ask me in the comment section if not then do not forget to like share and subscribe thank you